is Antonio Palayo. I'm an inker, painter, and head of special effects. How do you do? Walt's legacy is still alive here in Ink and Paint. How do you do what? We're sitting in the original Ink and Paint room where cells were painted for these animated films. Want to know a secret? This is what started Disney Animation back in the 20s, and our department is keeping that tradition alive. What we create here is what you see on camera. To me, it's very important to keep this legacy alive. Walt, what is the most interesting thing you're doing in the studio now? Well, at the present time, we're making a feature-length cartoon. A feature-length cartoon? Yes, the uh, old fairy tale, you know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Back in those days, animation was still in its infancy. They didn't know what animation was capable of doing. Walt Disney wanted to be different and do better than any other studios. We had to analyze action. There were no books. Nobody I could bring in to teach it. We were self-taught. The inking part of Snow White was unique because it used a lot of colors on the lines. If you compare our inking to other studios, they only use one color. The process of inking and painting is we receive the drawing in production days. This would be the actual animator's pencil drawing. And then our job is to transfer those lines onto the cell. And then these are my instructions. They tell me what lines to do with what colors. We wear gloves because we don't want the cells to uh, get damaged and also the gloves help us glide our hand on the cell. Once we inked all the lines on top, we flip the cell, and then we paint the cell on the back. Once the cell is inked and painted, then the cell goes to the multiplane camera to get shot, and this is what we see in the film. It takes 24 cells to make a second of the film. To create Snow White, it took about 200,000 individual cells to create the whole film. Walt wanted to create art, not cartoons. He wanted to touch on people's emotions. With every laugh, there must be a tear somewhere. He made people cry, he made people laugh, he made people walk out of there inspired. If it wasn't for Snow White's hand-drawn, hand-inked, hand-painted storytelling that received an award, there wouldn't be that category for animated films. He called it art, so with Snow White, he accomplished that.